This is going to be the last game I'm working on to basically do here for my initial reviews of um, seven DRLs. We are going to play a game called Rogue Zombies by Andres. Andres was basically the guy who did Rogue C. There's a general sibling combination, so there's a couple of seven DRLs he basically did. Rogue Zombies is a really good game, created for the 2024 70-year-old contest. Kill zombies, earn money, try to survive as long as possible. Keyboard control only. That's fine. So you can play online here at GitHub or GitHub. Just made by him. So let's see how it goes. Welcome. Hordes of zombies are drawing nearby, and you're the only one who can stop them. The time has come to arm yourself and prepare for the worst. Bitter warning, this is a role I create for the 2024 City World Challenge. It may contain bugs, surprising UAI, UX, and um, perhaps possibly even Loop Fisk. You can find more details at Games GitHub repository. This game is played using keyboard only. The browser window is a size of at least 860 um, pixels. Audio on, game uses sound effects, background music if you want. Press space to start the game. So. This is probably going a little bit you know, outside what we really need to do here, just to sort of like understand what he's doing, but... Okay, there's a manual here. So, the main goal of the game is to survive as long as possible, killing as many zombies in the meantime. The game is played using keyboard only. You can move in eight directions. Dial movement is possible and encouraged. One dial move is twice as fast as two moves in a carol direction. The following keys can be used. So regular keys, carol directions only, numpad, all directions, or V keys. A turn may be skipped with the weight using space power or number key 5 or dot. You can move almost anywhere, including places with items, with these exceptions. You can't kill the water, blocking structures, or zombies. You attack them instead. You can kill zombies by bumping into them, trying to move to their place, but this is slow, inefficient, and risky. Better results can be achieved by using items. Items must be bought in a shop using money. Money is earned by killing zombies. You can store any number of items in your inventory. There is no risk or penalty when using items. They will only damage zombies, never to player our other items. Okay, so there's our manual. And here's our readme right here. So we'll done the plan. Day one, moving the as symbol. Day two, gameplay, items, logic. As basically is like, you know, what you basically did here. There's this reality, the legacy. This game is standing on the shoulders of giants. In particular, the general idea came from the same name uh, genre I created back in 2011. And still available in a slowly becoming obsolete legacy branch. The whole source code has been thrown away for the purpose of Cinderella Challenge, but the core gameplay loop is the same. Alright, so there's the credits. So, there's all the free sound stuff. There's the license. So, this really should have been on like the web page or in the game itself. Let's see if it's basically there, I guess. But, um, yeah, I'll know basically when I press space here, we get to here, I guess. So, please pick a game mode to use. By pressing the corresponding number key, so you have like you know, tutorial, regular, hope, and sandbox. Let's go with the tutorial. Learn controls and concepts to improve your de zombification skills. Every game needs a tutorial. So at least he's got a tutorial going. Welcome to Rogue, Z Rogue Zombies tutorial. You can move around using the arrow keys, numpad, or V keys. It is possible to recommend move dialing as well. There's a little z zombie nearby. You can kill it by bumping into it. Try it. By trying to uh, move him to the place, do that right now. Okay, so let's go find a zombie. Is this guy gonna track me or? We hit the zombie. Good job. No more zombie in sight. Also, by killing a zombie, you earned your first money. Of course, fighting zombies by bumping into them would not work for too long. Once you get near a zombie, it can damage you and reduce your health to zero. That would end the game. The best way to combat these undead folks is by using items. When in the game, you can always open the item shop by the AI key. It would be wise to try it out now. Press escape to continue and use the, um, your mind to buy a rake. Okay, so. Uh, I can see we have like, you know, barrier, rake, trap, mine, shock, bazooka, wire, and fence on the bottom there. We do have a help here, so that's probably just for the control purpose though. So let's buy ourselves a rake. So price free for one dollar. Kills one zombie. Don't enough to step on it. So these are trap basically, I guess. Your inventory is displayed below the map. Available items can be used by pressing the corresponding number key. As you 
you can see, and our zombie spawned. This might be a good time to use these rakes that you just bought. A rake is a basic trap item. You place it on the ground on one of the eight neighboring uh, blocks and wait for a zombie to step on it. When it happens, both the zombie and the rake get destroyed. So basically, it's a, you know, it's a trap. Sounds like a very dumb trap, but okay. No offense to the developer, but yeah. Let's go. The tutorial is almost over. You can move around and kill zombies with stuff like a boss. The sandbox game mode is a good way to familiar yourself with other items that can be bought. In a typical game, you start in preparation phase in order to buy items and in order to defense. The real heat is when, um, when uh, it's then started by pressing the uh, S key. This is where the action begins. In this tutorial, only four zo more zombies will spawn. Once you do that, press escape and start the invasion when ready. Okay. So, I got some more money here. I might sell wood barrier. This is getting our rake. If you want to start the zombie invasion, press space. Zombies will slowly start spawning and start running around. I'm shop will still be available in non sandbox game modes. Shapes, there we go. We got zombies on all sides. I wonder if like, they move differently depending on like you know what type of zombie they are. It could be like, you know, these guys are you know, gonna be an issue depending on like, you know, what color they are. They're also different, like, you know, letters too, by the way. So bigger zombies, you know, less zombies, whatever. The game is over. You score, tutorial, survive for 70 uh, rounds, kill six zombies. So there we go. We're done. Let's go to a regular game then. All right, so we start in our house here. Some water, or some trees. Trees block our way. We can't go around trees, apparently. That's good to know. So here's our help. Move around using the arrow keys, the numpad, V, whatever. Kill zombies and earn money. Use I basically do that. The zombies are not spawning until you start with the S. Once you start the evasion, there's no going back. So basically, once you start, you start. <laughs> Where to spawn? Oh, up in the corner. Oh, in that corner. That corner. That corner. Okay, I can see a bunch of them spawning now. Let's see what we got here. We got bear trap. It kills several zombies dumb enough to step on it. We get the mine. It explodes when stepped on by a zombie. Electric shock. Electrocutes a nearby zombie. Jumps to nearby, nearby zombie. Bazooka. Flies in a straight line, explodes on impacts, so basically it's a like direct weapon. Bar wire fence, all connects to a nearby wires, up a few blocks away, has little has little health. Electric fence has more health. So let's get some rakes here. This is to start off with. Okay, I have to say, it's kind of like, you know, mm. easier to sort of like, you know, kill stuff if you're like, this, um, mm. running over to you a little bit like this. There's always playing all over the place, right? But you know, it's like an instant kill when you get some Liam, so why is this Liam bunch here for a little bit? Okay, I assume that, you know, 
Mm. That's why I've shot a close range for mm. stuff, because, you know... Oops, ran out of rakes there, so it's moving instead of, like, you know, placing anything. Let's put a bear trap down. See what that does. We'll try mine. Get some barricades. We'll get, like, you know, electric shock. So we'll put down bear trap. That worked out pretty well. Put mine here. Maybe put mine right there. Unfortunately, nothing's hit those traps yet, so that's annoying. Oh, okay, bear traps might last a little bit longer. I might be thinking about them. Okay, there's the bomb going off. And wow, look at that, it's just flood over here with zombies. Use electric shock. There's no zombies in that direction. Okay, electric shock maybe requires me to have stuff around so I can use it. Mm. There we go. Electric to zombie. I want to like you know pass through a bunch of stuff basically like you know a bunch of them. So let's get this and we'll get this. I'll be very careful with mm. bombs, by the way, because, you know, it's very possible to blow myself up with them, I think. Mm. Let's test that. Can't blow myself up. I can blow them up, and they explode. For sure. <laughs> Tempted. Fire in the hole! <laughs> There's a bazooka for ya. <laughs> Let's put that there. Put this here. Not gonna last forever, but you know, we'll last long enough here. Set there. Oh, at least the electric fence works. The fan is out of the range of that? Not really sure. Just here. Yeah, I don't think mines hurt you, so you can basically, like, you know, put mines around yourself to... Mm. Just kill stuff, right? So, that seems a little bit, like, you know, um... It feels like that a little exploitable, this being able to do that. Mm. Like, really, like, just, like, you know, just get close to stuff, put mine down, and... Blow them all up. <laughs> you know what? I can boot Zooka in the face right this and not kill myself. Yep, you can boot yourself. 
and you stuff up your own minds. I think it's a neat idea for game, but you know, it's definitely got issues. <laughs> Yeah, perfect. I want to do shock here. So I think the shock basically lets you, like, you know, shock everything that's in a line, so... Let's get here. Let's go... Fire bazookas. bomb over there went off finally. Okay, let's just try this. I'm going to shock these guys here and go... Yeah, I think if you like have them all connected to like that, you can have a mass amount of like, you know, kills that way, so... Alright, so the game's over. Designers have um, eaten your brains. I want to get over and see if we can zap them all, but you get the idea. Alright, well, this seems like a very basic sort of, like, you know, setting here where you're basically trying to survive against, like, zombies. And, you know, I bet, like, hope you easily done if you're, you know, hopeful and stuff like that, but whatever. Um, not a whole lot basically to it, but, you know, there's enough basically to say it's, you know, interesting sort of concept. I suppose there's basically more to it. Alright, well, hope you guys enjoyed that and take care.